かなたのフォーリズム。Hey everyone, this is i p i a s u s h a and welcome to a brand new playthrough of this vision of a called Alkana, all rhythms across the blue. So, yes, this is the, my very first playthrough of this vision of a, and I know that it's actually pretty popular. It has been, I think, around since 2018 actually. So, and it's only the first time I'm, I'm playing this. I actually bought this, right? A year or two ago, <laughs>、uh, but I haven't got around to playing it because I was playing other vision novels. But now finally, I'm playing this vision novel right here. So it's a really popular、uh, vision novel, and I I just got treated to the opening video of this vision novel.、Uh, well, if you want to watch the opening video, you know where to do. You can just you know Google for the opening video of this vision novel, Alkana. Yeah, but I'm really liking the the the, the opening song really. So from what I know about this vision novel is that it's a basically a involves a, an academy where they teach where this where you get to fly across the sky or something like that. So there's like competition and all that, and also like villains and all that 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 you have to take on and all that. So I'm not curious how this is gonna turn out. Yeah. So it involves these four heroines and yeah, of course each one of them has a route, right? And as you can see at the bottom right corner, the version is version one point two two R eighteen plus P E. <laughs> so yes, I'm yes, of course, of course, playing the the the, the grown up version. Yes. <laughs> so okay, I'm definitely excited to play this. This is a vision of a by Sprite. I can't remember if Sprite this company is still around. I think it's still around. I can't remember. I heard that they already closed down really though. Yeah, if I'm not wrong, but this is a really good vision novel. So, if it's right, if this company is right for me, this vision novel did if they close down, that would be that's really sad. But yeah, but anyway, this is a great vision novel, and I can't wait to play it. So yeah, let's begin. Wings of Courage, Piano Range Two. That's the name of the song, right? Soro soro, ikana kya. Oh, I'm liking this. Interface already. It looks a bit like a memo pad, yeah, like a notepad, you no, know, like a memo pad that you write on, yeah, the, the message box, and and it seems like we're in the we're in a flashback. Ah, じゃあ元気で。Hmm. Well, it seems like the main protagonist is gonna have a voiceover. I hope. <laughs> Well, I mean, even if it doesn't have a voiceover, I can always do the voiceover. So, oi, naku na yo. Saki taro, so yo no anashi datte. Demo. Yeah, so far we're like looking at the sky, the orange sky. <laughs> But it's a flashback. Shoga nai na. Chotto matte te. Oh, ready, boy, go. Okay, before I continue, let me just check some things real quick. Uh, I just want to see if we can. Yes, let's make this borderless. Yes, there we go. Uh, so let me just uh rescale this for a bit. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I was playing in window mode. Okay, but now yes, this should be perfect. All right. So yeah, best to play borderless. Yeah, I, I borderless, you know. Yeah, borderless window is always the best when it comes to gaming, any game. Yeah, so yeah, and it seems like yeah, language has English, Japanese. Um, I want to see if there's any Japanese subtitles. I don't think there is. Oh well. Yeah, because like some vision novels, you can have English and Japanese. You no, know, yeah, English and Japanese text, but it seems like not possible. So. Video is only like change the UI and text language, but you can't change like only part of it or something. So, oh well, I I'm sticking to to English in any case. Yeah. Okay. Here currently the window size is one two eight zero by seven two zero. Uh, let me see if I can change this. Let's see.、Okay. Oh wait, no, no, no. I didn't mean to return the title to the screen. I just wanted to change the window size. Okay, but I think this should be good enough. So, alright. Hora, kore. Kore nani? Ore ga taisetsu ni shiteru yatsu. Kore, ii no? Oh, 
wonder what that thing is. So that, could I ever talk on it? I'm a ton they get under. Sounds like you, mother. Demo sounds like a pair of shoes or something. だからこの先お前が一人でどうしようもなくなったらその時はこれをギュッとしてお願いしろ空に向かってな All this thing type、oh, doesn't seem like a pair of shoes 空に向かってお願い、mm. そしたら飛んでてやるからで助けてやるあ本当にああ絶対にだなんせ空はどこへだってつながってるからな I'm actually already liking this Yeah, I'm liking this already It looks really The, the art style from the glimpses that I'm seeing here Look really, really cool Yeah, it looks, it looks really unique The art style ありがとうじゃあこれ大切にするはあ When I was a kid, I thought myself invincible. I was certain I could become whatever I wanted, go wherever I pleased, and always come out on top, regardless of the opponent. I could see a world of infinite possibilities spread out before me whenever I wanted. All I had to do was reach my hand out towards the sky. In the summer of my third year in elementary school, oh, he looks like a really cool kid. I acquired wings that let me soar through the sky. Ooh. Yeah, this kind of shoes with wings. <laughs> yeah, something unique. Yeah, this is what you know, kind of like intrigued me. It's like quite a cool concept. Yeah. I wonder who is this girl though. And with that, I had made it to those parts of the sky my hand couldn't reach. Probably her child. She's child fan. Yeah. Yeah, I eagerly dashed forward, gliding through the air, advancing further and further, or maybe not. Seems like his elder sister or something. And then there's this girl right there behind, what looks like his dad or something. Back then, I had no doubts in my mind. I was sure there was no one who could reach the same heights as me. Then something shook him. Oh, this is probably his father. Rather than his sister, yeah, I think so. Yes,、yeah, probably, probably his father. But I think maybe something changed in in him because of what happened to you. Know, I guess something happened to either the his dad or his mom or or both. With this, I can go anywhere. I can be the first to travel beyond the sky. But he was talking to the. I guess that girl is the one who saw the other day. The one. Portrait, yeah, the one that was hiding behind the dad or something. I sincerely believed that, and as a result, I lost all faith in myself when my beliefs are overturned. Oh no, why? You cannot just lose all faith like that. It all happened because someone appeared in the space I thought my own. Some. And、in that moment, the place beyond the sky that I dreamed of reaching re disappeared from my mind. Who's this guy? I no longer had any right to lay claim to the sky. Yeah, who is this boy? The blue world that I envisioned beyond the sky was taken from me. I desperately reached out with my hand, but when I opened that hand, nothing was there. And so I turned my back on the sky, just like that. Hmm. So here comes episode one. Teach me how to fly. Back to square one. So his name is Masaya. The protagonist's name. <sighs> I'm charging down the road to school at full speed. Can't afford to be late. Damn! Hope I can still make it. Babe. I pull my phone out of my pocket to check the time. Eight ten. And I'm cutting you real close.、Uh, just so you know,、uh, school in Japan usually starts at 8:30 a.m. Yes, 
uh, yeah, schools in Japan usually like high school and below. Yeah, I usually start at eight thirty a.m. That's the usual starting time, which is actually later than usual. Like in my place where I'm from, uh, school usually starts at seven thirty a.m. Yeah, one hour earlier. So the clock is ticking down to my doom and fast. Yeah, so basically he has twenty minutes more to go. And so I stow away the harbinger of apocalypse, then bolt forward as fast as I can. Damn it, this is all because I had that dream again. Oh, that dream we saw earlier. Whenever I feel out of it or when I'm tired, I always see the same dream. A scenery drawn in fire. It was a blurry world that made me think I was viewing the scene with an odd filter. If all those dreams did was that me see a girl like as a kid, and that would have been fine. Too bad that wasn't the case. Well, we'll you'll meet her soon enough, I guess. You'll meet her again. I keep running down the road, and eventually I come across a strange sight. Huh? What's that girl doing? Oh, I spot a single girl crawling on all fours on the side of the road. Ah, uh, <laughs> there's a granny in the background and some guy, a boy running in the background further away. Oh, this, this scenery looks interesting also. This looks like a town by the seaside. Yeah, seeing that there's a sea right there, you know. Oh no. Are you locked out of your house? Oh man. She's cheerfully monologuing such specific things to herself. That it makes me wonder if she's doing it on purpose. Anyway, based on what I overheard, she seems to be a lot of trouble. So why does she sound so happy? Happy? Does she sound happy though? She doesn't sound happy at all. I will... Hmm. Oh. Making a choice so early in the vision of her. I'm not, I didn't expect this. Like most of the vision of us I played, right? All the choices are like... You don't... Not really that significant. So I'm hoping that this vision of her will have significant choices. Choices that actually matter. <laughs> so, okay, call to her, talk to her, worry about her. Hmm. Let's see, I, I don't think I want to like, I don't know, call to her. I don't want to like shock her, no? So I guess I'll just take, talk to her, you know? I don't know why I would want to worry about her, like, why not just engage her, you know? You know, that's one thing a lot of fairy tales tend to have in common. In them, the hero always extends a helping hand out to a girl in need. Even if that means having to fight a dragon or saving the world, are you not going to do that? Come on now. <laughs> um, what's wrong? There we go. And so in an attempt to live up to those standards, I push the girl and call to her. Oh, oh, hi. oh what a cutie. She look, she's a cutie right there. Actually, I just noticed that she's wearing a hat pin that looks like a, a gliding wing, you know? Like the wing that's attached to the shoes we saw earlier. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm also liking, I'm digging this art style, yeah. The girl rises from her crawling position and snaps the attention as she responds to me. I guess she was trying to find her key, you know? That's why she was on all fours. Oh, what's this? This white background though. <laughs> Interesting. That's what he sees in his perspective. The moment I see a face, my breath gets caught in my throat. She's standing there, white eyed, an inquisitive look on her face. She's cute. Really, really cute. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> she really looks cute, you know. A cutie right there. Yeah, so. I was just. Uh, thumbnail of this episode, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Oh, sorry, uh, 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 snap out, snap out. The voice makes me return to my senses. Yeah, that was him just hallucinating. Oh, well, seems like you could use a hand, so I thought I would offer my help, you know. Now, oh, her school, I guess this is the outfit, same outfit as, I mean, same school outfit as Masaya, maybe? 
looks really, yeah, really cute too, the outfit. She as a whole looks cute, yeah. I really know what's going on thanks to that detailed explanation I overheard moments ago, so I simply offer my assistance. It's fine. Hmm, looks like I confused her. Maybe I should have stayed out of this. Nah, just explain, you know, I overheard you and all that. It's fine, just, just, you know. Oh, sorry. I'm not trying to intrude on anything. I swear. If you don't mean have any help, just... <laughs> just like that? <laughs> Whoa! The girl suddenly leaps in front of me, grasps my hand, and shakes it up and down vigorously. <laughs> Is it that old lady in the background who, has, who told you that? Or no, it's, it's her aunt. <laughs> but, mm, actually, is it really aunt? Because she said Oba-san. Oba-san, I know, can translate to aunt. But Oba-san actually usually means, simply means an old lady. Yeah, so... I don't think aunt is the correct translation here. I think it just she just means Obasan as in like just an old lady, some old lady, you know, told her that oh Kyushu is a land of benevolence. Fear not dear. It's not really aunt. Yeah. And the thing is Obasan it's is hardly hardly refers to aunt. Yeah. You hardly really call aunt I mean yes you do call aunt Obasan but in common context we usually know Obasan as simply an old lady and not like aunt, you know, specifically. Yeah, so I'm I think this Obasan actually refers to just just an old lady old lady, you know. Uh sure. Oh yeah, she meant she mentioned Kyushu, yes. So this is set in the Kyushu region of Japan, which is in the like in the southern part of Japan, it's just south of Kanto and Kanto region, which is well south of Tokyo and all that. I've been there; it's it's quite quite a nice place. Yeah, uh, Kyushu region is mainly more on the nature side. Yeah, so and I like it. She must be pretty easy to impress with me offering to help her as this excited. But more importantly, hey look. Hey look! Oh, has, 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 he, has he found the key? Well, uh, your hands. Oh, it's in her hands. Oi. At that point, she finally shifts her gaze over to her hands. And when she does, her face flushes me instantly. The key is in her hands all along. She rips her hand away from mine and bows her head by oh, a few times. Oh. I thought the key is in her hand. No, she was holding her. She was holding his hands because it's like she was shaking his hands, right? So it's like, yeah, shaking his hand. Or, yeah, then like, or hands and then, Arigato gozaimasu. It's fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, she was grabbing Masaya's hand. Actually, wait. Masaya, wasn't there a vision of a before that played where the main protagonist is also named Masaya? <laughs> Princess Evangel, one of my favorite vision novels, yeah? <laughs> I just noticed that. Yeah. But yeah, she was shaking Masaya's hand. After she finishes talking, the girl stands there with her head still bowed and eventually claps her own cheeks. Is that supposed to be some form of punishment? I don't know, maybe try to weigh her up or herself up or something. <laughs> hey, that's one thing I, I I can, you know, like about someone. Yeah. Look, we really don't have to apologize. Besides, shouldn't we take care of your problem first? The expression changes to one of my shock as I change the topic. Yeah, I know your key, right? The girl tries to explain her predicament to me through a combination of words and gestures. 
Um, uh huh. I spot a silver object glittering the sunlight roughly a meter behind her. Oh, I don't see it, but okay, it's there. <laughs> Asaka, what did happen to be? There he is. Before the girl can finish her sentence, I pass by her and pick up the silver object. Your house key, right? Does this look like it? And who are a thin silver key in front of her eyes? The girl raises her voice and wraps both her hands around the key. She still stays in my hand, so she's holding his hand again. I just happened to see out the corner of my eye, so it's not really amazing or anything. You can see straight away that she's a really someone who is really grateful, like she can get, maybe get a bit over can get over excited but not too bad actually and she's definitely a fun person to be around with. I can I can sense it already. Seems like she's asking for my name. The name's Masaya Hinata. I live just around the corner. I'm a sophomore at Kunahama Academy. Nice to meet you, so second year. I, you know, like most vision novels, the protagonist and his friends and all that tend to be second years. Yeah. I guess it's because it's like the fine balance. Yeah, second year of high school. Rashina Asuka, okay. Rashina is the family name. Naruhodo, wait. From tomorrow on, are you a transfer student or are you a first year? Ah, oh, cool. Nice to meet you, Rashina san. Hi! Rashina san replies cheerfully. As the saying goes, a good deed is its own reward. I agree with you right there. That's why, if you want to meet a girl of your dreams, you gotta do this. <laughs> no, no, do this to any person you see, yeah? You get the feeling that I'm forgetting something important here. Yes, you're late for school. And before I manage to remember, a loud ring sound resounds through the air. It's late. <laughs> Shit! Rashina-san is started by my loud cry. Now I'm really running late. Oh, you're starting today, yeah? No, she said tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yeah, she doesn't have to worry. I see. Guess you don't know about Miss Kagami. Aoi Kagami. She's good at all kinds of spots and got hit gorgeous, but is also considered to be the scariest teacher at Kun Kunahama Academy. Interesting. She's the school's PE teacher and my homeroom teacher, but she's also the guidance counselor. That's why she's out at the gate waiting to see if any students arrive today. Why if you say you bring uh, Asuka lo along and then just say, oh, I'm late because I'm guiding her along. You know? <laughs> then, yeah, then. No, our, your teacher won't, yeah, won't punish you. So, Since she's a real street person, saying you aren't attending classes today won't cut it. No, I think she'll, she'll be fine with her because it's like her first, first day, you know. And if you're ever late when she's on duty, a dreadful punishment awaits you. She's so cute, you know her. I like her portrait. Too, and the way she reacts and all. Her facial expressions. Yeah. Really fun, really cool, you know? Really cute, yeah, in particular. Yep. She makes use of all her connections to pick up embarrassing secrets from her past. Any diaries you have, funny pictures you took, or cringe worthy videos of you will deal to the entire class. So, 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 so,
Okay, the translation is not exactly correct, but what she actually said is like, that's not something a teacher, that's not something a teacher should do, yeah, something like that. That's actually what she said. Not really like, no way, that's crazy. That's like, not really fully full translation. So just giving you some details here. They show, so we can't afford to be late. I confirmed the time by glancing at my phone. 8.25 AMO, you basically have 5 more minutes. You can make it. If we run, you won't make it in time. Honestly, I want to avoid using them as much as possible, but them? Bikes? No choice. I'll make an exception today. I whisper that while looking up at the sky. Oh, is he going to fly? Oh, he's totally going to fly. Alright, let's take off from over there. I see as I point at the nearby terminal. <laughs> no, we are going to fly. Yes, we are going to fly. <laughs> Rashina-san tilts her head to the side in confusion as she stares at the terminal. Plane? <laughs> oh right, you're not from around these parts. Yeah, she's a transfer student. Okay, so she's a transfer student. Second year. Right, that means she's like in the same class as Masa Masaya, right? Know anything about grab shoes? Yeah, anti graviton shoes. Since you're wearing our school's uniform, you should have gotten a lecture on how those shoes work. Well, now you get to learn how to fly with them. Rashina san replies for pointing at the school's shoes. Yeah, those. If you got a rundown at the gas, I don't need to like, spin. You taken them out for speed yet? Do they not tell you that you can fly with these shoes? <laughs> hmm, that's too bad. Well, I'll support you then. Let's go. Don't worry, I'll be here for you. Normally you take a proper course first, but it should be fine since we're going pet flight. You don't have to worry about anything. I head over to the terminal leading Prashina San all the while. Let's see. Good. The coast the coast is clear. So this is how a terminal looks like. So you have to like fly from this terminal. You can also call the help desk you know, help center and all that if you have any problems. Okay, that's this cool. I look around to check the flight path just in case. The no flight lamp is also off. Next up is the shoe check. Rashina san. Put one foot forward a little. We're teaching her how to fly. We're also seeing how how they fly, you know. I check the shoe she puts forward. Okay, looks good. Now show me the other one. If she does, I check the other one as well. Alright, you're all good. Take a deep breath for me, Krasina san. Inhale. Yes, Shinkoku. And exhale. Okay, time to head on out. Well, to school. We're flying! Since she's not following the conversation, I take Prashina san's hand, walk over to the edge of the terminal, and press the open button. Like, open the doors or something? After the shutters open, I turn off my own grab shoes. Take a small step forward to widen your stance. Next, raise your heels. Yeah, I'm gonna count to three, and then we fly. Make sure you hold my ten, ten tie, okay? If you do, you can just leave everything to me and relax. Yeah, and we get to hold a girl's hair for the first time this vision hour. <laughs> yes. Right, let's go. One, two.
Okay, she actually didn't say I don't want to die. She just said it, because it's gonna be very high up, high up, you know, something like that. It's gonna be yeah, really high up. Three, fly. Woo! Fly. <laughs> okay, here, as you can see, she just screaming only, but she didn't say stop. Oh wow, we got the first CG of this vision of a knife. <laughs> Look at Asuka really freaking out. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like she's... She's... Well, maybe she will have her grab shoes on in a match in time to come, but... Because if the grab shoes are on, there will be wings on her shoes, right? But so far, no. So now she's just flying along with yeah, Masaya in the sky, yeah. <laughs> and her bag, her bag is quite cute too, the two... A strawberry keychain, uh, I think mean a dog keychain and a dog keychain. <laughs> so, this cool. First CG of this episode. Of this vision of her, I mean. The early summer air is a little warm, making it perfect for slow flight. Relax, those three of you scream, we're really gonna fall. Rashina-san keeps shouting out words laced with desperation. I can tell how anxious, anxious she is by the tightness of the grip. It's fine. There's no way we'll fall with our craft shoes on. Plus the flight path's speedy calm. So, so nandesuka? Yeah, so don't worry, yeah. Really? So, so just relax and enjoy our stroll through the sky. I can feel the pressure on my back that being up as Krasina's son relaxes her body since she's resigned herself to a pain. I can see buildings, trees, and the deep blue ocean stretching out beneath us. They all look so tiny from up here. <gasps> Got a bird's eye view. Yeah, we are the birds. You know, we get to see the view of this, the whole town here. I'm guessing she's getting used to flying. She seems she lets out a voice of awe as she looks around in wonder. I know, right? Most people react like this on their first flight. If only we can fly. Maybe in the future we have these kind of craft shoes, yeah. I can't wait for the day where we, as humans, can actually fly with, you know, with devices. Well, there's something called the the gliding, gliding, but gliding is different from flying. Yeah. So hopefully we have these kind of grab skills in the future, then we can just fly around the sky as and when we like, <laughs> or maybe with licenses first. So. For hearing those words, I another choice. So fly wherever you want. Slowly repeated those words, digesting their meaning. I eagerly dashed forward, gliding through the air, advancing further and further. Back then, I had no doubts in my mind. I was sure there was no one who could reach the same heights as me. So, back to what she had, he had, he had been mentioning in his dream earlier. No, it's nothing. We'll be landing soon. Get ready. With this, I can go anywhere. I can be the first to travel beyond the sky. I sincerely believe that. Yeah, I should avoid this from now on. No, don't. I tried to make sure Krasina san couldn't hear me. As I quietly muttered those words. I look up at the sky one last time to say farewell for good before I prepare to land. No, don't say farewell for good. No. The blue sky stands infinitely, yes, just as I did, just I, just as it did when I was a kid.
Well, I'm definitely excited for all these four heroines. Yeah, I've already think I've seen the best girl that I'm, I would like to go for. <laughs> the, the black hat girl. Yeah, <laughs> that one looks interesting as well. Yeah, but I'm definitely looking forward to all the four heroine sprouts. Yeah, this vision novel. I, as usual, I'm going to save the like the main heroine, what is so, supposedly the main heroine, the pink hat girl, Asuka, for last. Since she's like the main he main heroine, so <laughs> yeah, and I'll probably save that black hat girl for like the second last, and then that Ichinose, I mean that 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 purple hat girl, I mean yeah, and then finally that little girl, <laughs> that that little girl with the first one that I'll go with, yeah, then followed by that purple hat girl, yeah, the one that we saw at the extreme right, and then followed by that black hat girl, and finally Asuka. So that be the order that I'll most likely be going for. But I'll, I'll I'll mention again which girls I'll be going for later as we get closer to the end of the common round. But yeah, now we shall begin officially continue with this vision order. To the west of Japan's mainland in the East China Sea is Shito City. It's a town that's made up of four islands. I see this is one of the islands. Its population of 50,000 is enough to get it recognized as a city, but at a glance, it looks more like a rural country village. However, right now, the area is like a completely different world from the rest of Japan. That's how special Shito City is. Also, because it has like those craft shoes. Yeah. Following the discovery of anti gravitons, special shoes that allow an individual to fly, anti graviton shoes were invented. Ooh. And those shoes which let a person fly using only their own body brought about the dawn of a new age. The Airport Act applied many restrictions on private flight, but there are some cities where none of that applies. Special test zones, basically. So this the Shito city is where we can fly anywhere they like, around this city anyway. And one of those cities just happens to be Shito city. It's even said that Graf Shu used to say she's the highest in the country here. People from all generations make use of them here, though young people probably use them most. In fact, students tend to use them a lot. They are common commuting optional on all four islands that make up Shito City. Touchdown! <laughs> Hey, so Wait, this is seriously the, the sensei. <laughs> He's dressed rather interestingly. <laughs> he, he looks like a. Oh, he definitely looks like a. She, 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 why did I say she? She definitely looks like a punk. <laughs> That's for sure. I mean, look at her. 
know, her, her, her shirt and her short shorts, yeah. Definitely a punk. <laughs> yeah, but like, it definitely looks cool, so... Okay. Oh man, I'm liking her already, yeah. See, we made it! Actually, no. <laughs> I used the grass shoes assisted landing feature to touch down safely at the school's terminal. Come on, grass shoes, you can't let go of my hand now. When I pointed out Kurashina san let go of my hand hesitantly, he didn't want to let go of your hand. Teen Sequel started weird rumors if she kept clinging on to me. I had previously asked her to switch to just holding my hand. But even that's enough to get students talking, so it's best to separate now. I hope we did. Right. Okay, let's hurry to the classroom. Wait, I forgot to ask where you need to go. Alright, I'll see you again. Okay, see you around then. Rashina san directs a bow at me, then runs off to the building where the faculty room is located. Now there, Sateto. Shouldn't waste time loitering. You need to head to the classroom before Miss Kagami spots him. I think he really, she really spots, spotted you. <laughs> Look at any weird ideas, but hey, she's one of the heroines, so... <laughs> Oh, she must have a Isashi. Uh, uh, huh. So he hasn't actually like flown in a long time. Is this the one who we saw in the that as that sepia tone dream earlier? Probably, you know. Ah, <sighs> made it somehow. So we have the class right here and yeah the class definitely looks lively for the students here. I plop down to my seat and breathe a sigh already. You jealous? Oh so this is the the well it's actually not black hair but a bit more dark dark purple. A kind of vibe yeah dark purple kind of hair. Interesting. <laughs> So, uh, I guess I'm not sure if this is his class, his childhood friend, doesn't seem like it. Right? You see, but it seems like a close friend of his. Yeah, a close friend of Masaya. So, so, yeah, but definitely her class, his classmate. So, yeah. Just had to ask, huh? One of my classmates suddenly appears before me and starts questioning me. Her name is Misaki Tobisawa. Since we sit close to each other and were in the same class last year, we end up chatting a lot. Ah, so basically, friends for since the first year. So, interesting. She's the only girl in my class who's on casual speaking terms. Oh, the rest not really. Hmm. Anyway, it's pretty common for her to start up random conversations, especially first thing in the morning. Gotta say though, I'm surprised. She saw that. I mean, I tried to get away from Rashina san as fast as possible. Ohio, Misaki, you know, you should really, you really should at least greet me first before greeting me. Mm. Ohio. Ohio. She waves her hand at me with an absent minded look on her face. Obviously, Misaki has low blood pressure. Really? <laughs> So what was that about holding about me holding hands with someone? I tried to I tried to feign ignorance. Mm -hmm. But she ends up ignoring me. Okay. You literally just asked me about the girl who was holding my hand. Mm -hmm. Ah, so so. 
it seems like when when he said like she has a low blood pressure, it seems like she doesn't have a lot of energy or something. You have some good eyes. I mean, most people don't just happen to catch dreams of things that are so far away. <laughs> what? You serious? Finally, remember? <laughs> okay, this is an interesting girl already. Hmm. She definitely seems like the weird type. Yeah, I wonder how how yeah her route is right is eventually going to develop. Like, how is it going to transition into yeah <laughs> yeah them you know getting together in yeah, in romance. Yeah, her route is definitely going to be interesting. Oh, I'm so curious now. With how disjointed our conversations tend to be, I can't help but wonder if she's alright. I mean, low blood pressure only explains so much. Oh my god. I seriously can't take this sense seriously though. With this kind of attire. <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> Is this really even allowed though? Definitely not allowed in real life, but here's like, oh. Okay, you know, like Yaba, Zane Mosaya Misaki taught us away to a desk. Oh, I mean, Kyo was Hawaiian as a I put my thoughts aside and focus on task. She's good at all kinds of spots and drop dead gorgeous, but he's also the scariest teacher at Gunahama Academy. I thought you mentioned that earlier. <laughs> this is my homeroom teacher Aoi Katami. Oh, this is the Now, since there's like the uh, you can like fly with those shoes and all that, grab anti graviton shoes, right? That means there's a cup for that, right? Right, there has to be, right? By the way, I owe a lot to Aoi-san. Uh, I mean, Miss Kagami. And my debts started racking up far before I even joined Punahama Academy. In fact, it mostly comes from help she provided when I was younger. Must be the- yeah, I think that lady we saw in the, that sepia tone dream. That must be her. So yeah, I was obviously pretty shocked when she ended up meeting, being my homeroom teacher.君たちはもう二週間前から一年生じゃない。新入生や困っている相手には率先して手を差し伸べられる人間であることを期待する。オッケー。Since that's it. Looks like she didn't notice that I was almost late this morning. She actually did. <laughs> but because she saw you flying to here, she kind of has a change of heart. A wave of relief washes over me which allows me to finally relax. Wait, what was that girl's name again just now earlier? Uh, I just need to remember Misaki. Misaki is her name. Alright, gotcha. Oh. Aoi. Uh, Miss Kagami doesn't care that we are at school. She always calls me by my first name. What's up? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, oh cool. Uh Did she hear me back there? Or what is this about me of almost arriving late? Which one of those did she catch? Don't know. 